Hello and welcome to this first episode of this uh, Let's Play series of Crusader Kings 2. We have chosen a character to play as and it's Earl Osmond of Sussex. Uh, this is our land, Sussex. We got one uh, castle and that's about that. Uh, the ambition and vision with this series is uh, well, uh, more or less, I want to enjoy myself playing this and I will share it with whoever is interesting to watch it. Uh, we will discuss uh, goals a little bit later in this video. First off, we want to get going with uh, our council. Uh, we've got a poop counselor who will try to fabricate a claim there. Uh, if we're lucky, he will get it. We will train troops in Sussex. We want uh, extra money and let's steal some tech down here in the Byzantine Empire. I think there is, yeah, it's there. Boom. And we want our churchmen to ensure us, uh, ensure tax income here. No, we can't. Okay. Uh, let's be friend with the Pope man for now. Until he got more important things to do. So. We need a focus. Uh, getting an heir early on is uh, good. And breeding our dynasty is quite uh, insignificant right now. It's me, me and me here. That's our whole tree. I think it will change, uh, we'll see, hopefully, unless I fail totally. We also want an ambition and uh, let's get ours uh, as a wife. And we will use this tool for that, we will search the whole world. We want to marry a woman who is not in prison and preferably not married and she can be a ruler. Uh, I want her to be of my religion and my culture and she needs to be an adult and uh, she can be of a great house. So here is our potential wives, all 16. Yay, children. But that's what you did back then. All right, this is actually something useful. It's an elusive shadow with good uh, intrigue skill. We also get a good diplomat. Uh, with bonus to fertility. Mm. And there we have a lustful trait. That's actually not bad. We have several of them. Is N1 useful? Uh, poor education, poor education, poor or good? No, no, not lustful. Kind, humble, zealous. Yeah, Hangifu from Tivotel, be my wife. My wife. It will cost us a lot of prestige, but eh, don't care. We'll get prestige later. And we will unpause and go forward. And uh, this will be a bit of a waiting game early on, as we have not much to do. Oh, events. Uh, yes, money. Oh, only 10, but 10 is 10. And that reminds me, we got more things to do with money. Uh, because in this game there are hues, and hues are used for money. And that money you use to get more money, or more troops, or whatever you want. So anyway, back to where we are heading with this. See, we need a son. Oh, we should before we do that, we should get uh, ourselves a lover or three as well. I don't think we'll have anyone from a great house. And uh, let's do you, Sidious. And yep, do it. Now back to where we are heading. 
VR account, we are very very weak, but this is a very shattered nation compared to current Francia, who will soon be one Francia, not Middle and West, it will just be West Francia, I assume. But we will try to expand here, in this area. We will try to befriend a couple of houses and we will rival other houses. I will actually try to stick to that. Friendly dynasties and unfriendly dynasties. Uh, I want this to be my capital. And hopefully it will be, but first I think before we can uh, go for uh, the offing house and kill them off, we need to grow our strength. We have a very small army, uh, but luckily so does these two neighbors. Oh, The Picts want Hextilda. Do we need Hextilda? We could actually use her for breeding purposes, but uh, we don't need her. And talking of which, we should get ourselves an other concubine, uh, lover. Uh, oh, there's. She was an option. Could still do it, but uh, I, yeah, that would be fun. Let's see if we can breed a Pictish dude. I mean, the Picts are far, far off, and I don't need them to be friends, at least not for now. Uh, Leo Walding could be a potential ally. And Vic Laughing House isn't. Sir Deezing House is also a potential friendly ha um, dynasty, but uh, we'll have to see. We will come back there and see where it goes. And Confessing Love worked last time, so we'll try that again. No, did not. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, let's speed up because it won't happen a great deal of things just yet. Just me trying to get some lovers, that's all for now. You are a poor charmer, my dear husband. Oh, there we go. Um, ah. He already has hires, but oh well. We might get a son or a daughter out of it, so it's a good trade. Yeah, let's see what else we can find here. Maybe you? No. Uh, oh, not Mary and un many unmarried, but you are very potential. Lover, let's do you. <laughs> Happy and exhausted, can it be better? Um, I will also admit that I lost track a bit of time here. I forgot to see when I started this record. Uh, we'll go a bit further before we take a break. So this episode might be a bit longer or shorter than what we aim for. <coughs> Alright, let's see how we are doing. We have three lovers we can do with a couple of more. I don't want too many, but I can use a few. Oh, court tomcat. Plus one to intrigue and plus ten to sex appeal. Next lover should be easier. And there are more targets here now. Uh, anything useful? Yeah, you are. You are. Also, one thing that's quite useful is to invite your lovers to your court. Uh, a few of them seems to have married, but I get this one. And this is why I need her. She's me as touch. She's a tear for education. And that means if she's in our court, we can use her to... Uh, oh! 
she's kind of a noble as well. Uh, but we can use her to uh, educate our own children, which is very, very useful. So let's see if we can get ourselves a fourth lover before we wrap this up. Uh, it's possible. It went fast, so fast we'll, we'll aim for a last one. Shameful that I. Oh, I can invite you. Yep. Then we got the Diplo, we got the Steward, and I want a military trainer as well. But that's nothing I can find for now. Uh, let's do you. Yeah. Wolfrun, oh, co courtier in Lancaster. That's a bit north of here, but who cares? Should be around here. Uh, and how's the baby making going? It's going awfully poor. Oh, and we only gotten a year into this, but we can expand our castle a bit more. Let's get ourselves uh, militia training grounds for sheer number of troops. It adds it's a 90 man raw before mods compared to barracks who add just 45, but they are on the other hand stronger, so we'll try to get that as well before we go to war. Uh, I get a rather weak army. And ho! Oh, this is actually a good event. We get a Lover with attractive and quick, and those are things we want in our gene bank. And uh, if a firstborn son comes from her, I will actually really consider to make him uh, a proper child of mine and uh, not just a pure bastard. Anyway, it's uh, time to make a cut here, and we will be back with the next episode shortly. Thank you for watching.